Yo, so we got this dude coming over. He hit me up on Facebook Marketplace about these reel-to-reels that I put up. I put this reel-to-reel -reel up for about $500. Looks like they, I mean, it's a pretty good deal, I think. They sell on eBay online for $1,000 to $1,500 working. Um, I don't know how to work the damn thing. I mean, it turns on, rewinds, forwards, plays, does stuff, but shit is it. I don't know. And I know that it's hard to find those types of people uh, that can repair something like that. So we'll see what's up. You know, if the dude's a musician and not looking to flip the thing, if he's real deal, holy field, can play, we might have to bless him. Name your price type deal. You know, I have five on it, but let's see what's up. You know, might, might have to bless musician but yeah. I, I set I it up here oh, that's awesome i have a cassette tape recorder okay and so like i know about that and i kind of did work on it yeah because it's it was from a similar era okay like same i think this is from like they're old late 70s yeah yeah, yeah. but i it, the tape just sounds different yeah and i, I feel it. Like i love it but uh to somebody it would be pretty cool i mean it's but, yeah it's super cool to me yeah. I, I i like for me, a lot of it is that like my favorite records and stuff like that is all recorded and stuff like this. Yeah. yeah. And I do like, uh, sort of like folky, okay. like just guitar and singing. Yeah, so you and got so a band? Like, no, so yeah. I do it like solo. And then I was in a uh, station in Newport, Rhode Island. Okay. And they had the folk fest out there. Oh yeah. That shit's badass. If you ever get a chance to go there, three I days. I would love to, yeah. For three it was days. A, did you hear about like all that happened this year there? No. Like, there was just a lot of like really, influential artists who like came back who are like old you yeah know what i mean and like came to and every year somebody was like oh bob dylan's gonna come play like yeah right. set or something well, like that he, they were like you know joni mitchell yeah she she like came she had some like brain injury and she like forgot how to play music essentially okay re-taught herself to play music and showed up at the festival everyone was like what yeah they do that like every last set it's like something <laughs> yeah. really cool man. yeah that's but, awesome um Cool. Yeah. So you can check it out. I yeah, I don't really know too, this, too okay. much. Like, cause for me, this is gonna be like I've Project. never recorded the reel to reel. Yeah. But like, this will be my learning vessel. <laughs> okay. I was just, I like to get stuff in the right hands to people. To, you know, to the right people. That. You know. What yeah. I mean? Yeah. I really At a good deal. It. Yeah. Well, I, that's what. Yeah. Cause it's, it's to me, like fifteen hundred dollars. Somebody would pay fifteen hundred. <laughs> well, with these things, it's like part of the reason I want to test it is because like exactly. I, I looked into some of the stuff is like. You have to be willing to take the back off. Yeah, yeah, and like, yeah. And I've done that some, but this is more complicated than that. Oh, you know, yeah, you probably, if something wasn't <laughs> right with this and you've got to find the right person, and those types of people that work on this It's thing, very specific. It's getting harder and harder to find those kind right, of people. Right, exactly, yeah. But and I was you, excited that you had the tape, actually, because... You can have it's it, It's actually, it's hard to find, too. Yeah. I mean, you can't, they actually, I was surprised to find that people actually make it new. Okay. Which is kind of surprising, but... Yeah, cassettes and all that stuff's kind of taken off. Oh, Everybody yeah. wants that yeah. cassette feel or whatever. Yeah, that makes uh, sense because this was from like when I looked up into this, it was like one of the first like home recording yeah. sort of things. Like, because before that, this was like you wouldn't see this in anybody's house. Yeah. Know? Like, it was like you'd have to pay to go to a studio. Right. Oh, yeah. For sure. Back in the day, it was. But that's the style I love, you know, like it's yeah. just kind of doing it yourself. And so that's what it's like exciting to me because of that, you know. It has a little bit more of a, a little more character and like yeah. a little bit more like yes. the crackle or whatever. Right, you know right. what I mean? Yeah, like, totally. Like a good. Totally. So yeah, I was messing with like the speed. The you could push the speed and low. Yeah. And large and small reel. I might do. I'm, I brought a mic check just it. to yeah, check to whatever. Because it should. Let's see. Chord mode. These things are just all so cool, cool to me, like all the old electronics. Yeah, it's, see? Yeah. Nice. All right, <laughs> so then I'm gonna... Uh, let's try, try to record something. Let's try to record <laughs> you doing something, and then we'll play it back and see if we can hear it through oh. the headphone. You wanna do it? You can hear it coming through, that's good. Okay. Oh yeah. That's, that's cool, cool yeah. <laughs> it's so cool, man. <laughs> It's great that the motors and everything seem to still be working. Right. You know I'll about. tell you, it was inside the guy's house. Like, so he probably, oh, and right. it was an older house, so he yeah. probably bought it and it stayed in like an element where, you know, it wasn't like he didn't put it in a garage, yeah. put it in an attic where it got just smoked. Right. You know. 
It's good that all these switches work and everything too. Well, you got them picking fingernails too. Right? <laughs> yeah. yeah <they're> fucking. <laughs> I do a lot. Yeah, I love like uh, finger picking style stuff. Let's see. Okay, so that's a good sign. So it's the red. Light so it's recording. I think so. Is it picking it? Yo, 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 yo. No. <laughs> but it also has to do with like all this stuff. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna look up like the exact procedure for recording, you know what I mean? Yeah. This thing is cool too. It's, I know this is for like, it's so if you record like one thing, then you can like flip this and you can just play it back. So then you can like, what I do a lot of time with recording, you know, is like I record something and then I add something else to it. But you, this was one of the kind first of, wow. recorders that you could like do that where you yeah. could like hear what you played and play with it. Okay. Which is like, Really key if you But you couldn't to. write over it, could you? Like, or talk over it and then it adds to it? Yeah. Really? Yeah, and that's, so, so you can have four different things. Yeah. So like I could do, I could record guitar to okay. this track. Yeah. And then I could like, listen back to it and hear my guitar playing and separately do the vocals. Uh, but on and a I, different reel, like on something else. No, on the same one. That's crazy. I'll, I'll throw this out there, I'm just wondering what you think, but okay. I am wondering about like, some of the things, I'm a little, Worried if I, I'm gonna have to replace just because, like, the I, when I had the cassette recorder, like, to buy the belts, like, they're pretty obsolete, you know yeah. what I mean? So, they're it can be like, you know, like 30 bucks or Where something. Where are you like at? That. Where are you at? I, I mean, I was, I would be thrilled about 200, but I, I would be, I'd be lenient on that, you know what I mean? Just because I, like, I know that it's gonna take time more than anything for me to repair. But let's also see, let's see something. Let's see something though. Let me, I'm gonna get this guitar out. Okay. If you can, if you hit me a little strong with the guitar, <laughs> I think you're the man for it. And I don't mind blessing people, bro. <laughs> Where are you at on that? <laughs> you want me to play something? Oh, this is a cool guitar. I was doing so much moving and like when I was in yeah. the Navy, it was like, I always wanted a band and I always wanted to play with somebody. Yeah. You know, because when you're with somebody and doing something with somebody, oh, it yeah. makes things so much better. Yeah. So I did artwork and stuff like that, but... Oh, really? I switched over like these paintings, did a lot of paintings. You made them? Yeah. Really? That's awesome. You the man with that. 200 at yours. Really? Yes, right. I really appreciate that because it, it really, I've been like... My dad got me started on this stuff. He loves like old electronics and stuff, and like just cut, just send me a record so when, get, when it happens. Or you do it, send me a tape. That, or I'm, I'm, that's part of the plan. Is that like if I get it working, I'll record something to it. Well, that's awesome. I, I really appreciate it. Here, I'll get you the cash. It should be too. All right, man. I really appreciate it. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I hope you really get it going and could do something with it. Yeah, I'll definitely, seriously, I'll let you know. Yeah. This is my, like, have you heard of Bandcamp? Bandcamp? Yeah, it's a website. Okay. It's like you can post your music for free, but that's, right. that's where I, last winter, I like recorded a little just like some stuff on cassette tape, but All that's right, the, that's the link. I'll there. check it out. If you ever want to check it out. I will check it out, bro. <laughs> Awesome, let's see. Oh yeah, it's a beast. That's awesome. Thing. Some heavy duty electronic. You might just have to take that one reel off. Yeah. It'll probably fit in there if I take the reel off. That's perfect. Let's see. Maybe. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. All right, buddy. Awesome. Good Thanks luck, so man. much. Really appreciate it. Yeah, man. Yeah. I'm happy that it. somebody got it that can use it. That's awesome. You know. Well, I, I really appreciate deal. that. Yeah, bro.
Yeah. <laughs> I'll, I'll listen to your music. Check out <laughs> one of my favorite folk artists named Joshua James. I'll look him up. Yeah. Check that guy yeah, out. Yeah, we'll do. And if Have you, if you record something on there, send me a tape. Yeah, man. yeah, I will. All right. My boy Gabe, he gave me his uh, band camp. Little uh, website. Let's see what. Let's see what. Uh, let's see what he's sounding like, man. Let's see where he's at. Say he likes folk music. Let's look. Let's look at where it's at. You can buy the digital album for seven dollars. Let's hit it with the first song. He a sensitive man. I straight up listen to that, man. Imagine waking up on a Saturday morning, going to hit a, gr a garage sale. Fresh dew on the on the on the on the grass. You getting up seven o'clock, sun coming up just over over the houses and just kind of shimmering off the off the grass. And you listen to my boy Gabe Westerngren. Sipping on a Mountain Dew. That's how you get your morning started right there. He good man. Yo, yo, it's, it's a big world out there, man, there's a, and there's a lot of beautiful people, but I hit my boy Gabe back up, and uh, I said, Gabe, if you had played and, and sang, I would have straight up gave you that reel to reel. You good as hell, bro. I only listened to half of Nelson County, and I seriously like it all. I think my favorite so far is Two Heads. Keep it up, buddy. Honestly, you could walk into the Folk Fest and play right now. You're ready, my friend. And I sent him two artists that I like that are folky, Joshua James and Noah Gunderson. Uh, Noah Gunderson I heard at the Folk Fest. Joshua James, I've been liking this stuff for a while. But I said, here's a few guys I started listening to after hearing them at the Folk Fest. Noah Gunderson and Joshua James. I paint and I'm inspired by looking at other artists' work. Maybe you'll get some kind of inspiration from these guys. But honestly, you got it, bro. Later. And he said, Ah, oh, man, that's so heartwarming. Dang, I should have played more. Ha, ha, ha. Now, nah, the way I see it, $200 is going towards your painting fund. Really appreciate you sending along these artists. Excited to listen. When I get this thing running and, re and record, I'll send it your way, man. The peace. But, yeah, man. I'm an artist too, man. I, I used I I used to paint a lot. I was in the Navy and uh I had been to Iraq, Afghanistan, stuff like that. And um I was going through therapy and things and I learned about art through art therapy and expressing myself and emotions through art therapy. So I really got heavy into painting and I almost got out of the Navy. Uh I had got my own studio and won a couple art shows and really had my name out there and met a lot of people, man. I've, I've had had some mentors that were selling paintings for thousands of dollars. Uh, I was selling paintings for thousands of dollars. Uh, some of my paintings I got up here. Uh, got some of my paintings up. Did this painting here, this big old long one. It's like a uh, stormy night. Seascape kind of suggestive piece, but I'm surrounded by a lot of different art, man. This is a guy named Lou Ross, buddy of mine. Another guy named Timothy Wilson. Really like his style. Uh, 
guy named John Lentz right here. This dude right here is Danny Fox. Love his style. He's and this guy's he got he sold paintings through Sotheby's already. Uh, this this little sculpture was made by a good friend of mine. He's in his 80s now, but he was one of my best friends when I was living in Rhode Island. And we've kind of fed off each other. That's important to have people. If you into something, it's important to have friends that are also into the same thing. And you guys could just feed off each other. But this was made by Tom Martinelli. He gave this to me for my birthday. Um, another one of my big paintings over here. I had this in a museum show. This is an Indian writer. I like abstract kind of suggestive work, but... This is one of my Indian writers. Huge. Found this, I painted this bird. I found this bird on the side of the road and I painted the bird. Kind of like the warrior's little friend. Messenger bird. But, yeah, man. I love, I love talking to artists. They got a heart and they got a soul, man. But that's some of my stuff. You sit down and you chat with people. Be surprised what somebody might know.